Hey guys, welcome to Tracy's Place. Uh, this is a, well, half of our raised garden cover. So my husband made the garden eight bed, eight, eight foot by four. And it's tall, how tall is it? It's four feet tall. So this, this will keep rodents and different things out of the garden. And it'll, it'll keep rodents out, birds, squirrels, um, moles, rats and mice if you have those around in your area and different things. So yeah, so he's about to build the other half. So I wanted to tell you all how he did it. So we're starting out with PVC, which is 10 foot and half inch. So then you cut them down to size, depending on the size garden bed that you have. So our garden bed is four by eight. He's doing two halves so that they won't be flimsy. So he's cutting them down to four by three and a half sizes. And he had to get these corner pieces to connect the PVC. Hey guys, excuse my drawing, but I had to insert this right here. The garden bed cover is four by eight, but because the structure has PVC connectors, the connectors take up a little space. So the PVC for the length, the PVC had to be cut just a little bit more. So it's actually 16 pieces of PVC will be cut to four feet long and that would be for the width and height, but eight pieces will be cut of the PVC into three and three fourths feet long. And that's the length that you see here because there's a connector here, 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 and here. So that takes up space. The little connectors take up a few inches. So again, that's four foot high, four foot in width, as far as the PVC piping is cut, but you also have three and three fourths foot here in this half, three and, three and three fourths foot here in this half. So like I said, 16 pieces of PVC will be cut into four feet long. Eight pieces of PVC will be cut into three and three fourths feet long. And that's for the length. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. <laughs> and as you see, it just connects right into the corner connection piece. How did you cut your pipe down with what? So he cut it down with a hacksaw. And this is what he used. What would be better to use if the this people is have? The best. Or you have some uh, PVC pipe cutters. Or PVC pipe cutters. So now he's just putting this together basically like a puzzle. So once you get the PVC pieces cut, it's pretty, it's decently easy to construct, although the chicken wire is a little time consuming. So it starts out by molding the chicken wire around this pole right here and getting it all tucked around at the starting point. So he's connecting the chicken wire with zip ties right here, as you can see. I'll show you on this next one. Pull it tight. I usually, this is just the way I do it. So pull it as tight as you can. And now he's putting the zip ties every few inches. I would say that's about eight inches apart or so. And that way it stays connected to the PVC. So on each section, he connects the zip ties at the end where they connect, where the PVC connects, and then he goes back and puts the zip ties 
the zip ties every few inches to connect the chicken wire to the PVC tightly. Going to the next PVC connection point and putting the zip ties on, connecting the chicken wire to the PVC. And now going back to connect the chicken wire to the PVC with the zip ties. So when you're done with the top half, you have it connected here at this connection point with the zip ties. And it has one, two, three in the middle. Connection right here. Zip ties connecting chicken wire to the connector piece. And so you do that for all sides. So now he's going back and clipping the excess pieces of the zip ties off. So he's finished stretching the chicken wire around and connecting it at the top. But before he cuts the chicken wire here and connects it with the zip ties, he likes to go down to the bottom and connect this is just personal preference he said he likes to connect the chicken wire at the bottom likes to stretch it and connect it down at the bottom just as it was done at the top barrier in four foot pieces mm -hmm. it matches with the height of the uh, chicken wire kind of oh, okay so it says it's easier to, um, if you work with four foot pieces, it's easiest because the chicken wire is four foot. Usually sold in four foot pieces. So this is how you cut the PVC. Cutting it in four foot pieces. And after carefully thinking about it, there was an eighth rod, eighth PVC pipe installed up here so that the whole piece would not be flimsy. So here he's attaching the last piece of chicken wire to the raised garden cover and so connect it there and then it'll be connected here and he has to cut it and attach it here. So it is coming together and looks pretty good. He has to make a few more adjustments and he'll be just about done. And look who has come alive and come out of her room. Hallelujah FM, if you didn't get a chance to check out Hallelujah Highlights Memphis, it's right there on our Facebook page. So my husband is using these Hangs Tough CTS pipe hangers. You put it in the middle. Kind of sorta. They are three-fourths of an inch. This is going to allow the cover to be able to bend back. Cool. So it bends back. so that we'll be able to harvest the vegetables and fruit from the garden. We didn't allow it to be bent back this way because this garden bed is here and it won't fold back completely. So we, did, we didn't even allow room for it, which is what we planned to do anyway because we didn't want them spread all over the yard. We wanted them right together. So this one bends out this way. This side of the garden bed, this side is gonna bend 
out this way it can go any way you want it to it can bend backwards just like the other one or it can bend to the side it could bend backwards that way any way that you want it to bend it can be open that way i chose for it to be open to the left and that one down in front Came out good. Keep these closed. We got these small bungees. Mm -hmm. Because animals, depending on if you know how hungry they are or not, could try to force them apart. Although I would think they would get scratched up by this chicken wire. Even though the sharp part isn't out, when you try to get in here, there are some sharp. You know, it, it doesn't feel good. So he has some bungee cords. A little mini bungee cords. Mm -hmm. Little mini bungee cords to keep them closed. Do we have blue? And because I am matchy matchy, we're gonna use green and blue. So to keep the animals out, so they can't even force these open if they should try, um, the little things that we have around here like moles and just little Rabbit. raccoons, rabbits and squirrels shouldn't be able to even open this, but you just never know what else could be back here at nighttime. So, we have these little bungee cords, like I said, and because I'm matchy-matchy and I wanted to match the yard, this is blue. And then we have a green one here. And you just attach it to the chicken wire, like so. Now down at the bottom, we keep it on here. So this keeps it tight. So to open and get in the garden, we have to take this off and then bend them whichever way they bend. This side is bending forward. This side is bending back that way, but nothing can get in and we cannot get into it either without taking the bungee cords off. So even in a storm, a big wind storm or um, whatever day or night, this is sturdy on here really good so there you go diy garden bed cover